adjustment popularly uh, known as uh, CVA one of the important uh, calculations uh, with respect to pricing counterparty risk that is the prime uh, intention uh, with respect to this uh, credit value adjustment so why should I get into the pricing of a counterparty risk so basically uh, we are when we talk about a pricing of a counterparty risk it is further risk that is associated with the counterparty assuming uh, some probability of default what should be the charge additional charge that should be uh, that should be uh, uh, levied uh, based on the knowledge that this particular counterparty can default so generally uh, this price is always based on how much of exposure that is present how much uh, amount that could be uh, lost in the transaction that is what we are talking of how much of exposure and what is the probability of default of the counterparty so the moment I am able to plan better the exposure aspect as well as the probability of default it can help me or it can help any organization to actually plan the reserves the backup in case the counterparty defaults do I have a proper backup mechanism does the lending company have adequate reserves so that it does not uh, go into doldrums and uh, probably any kind of uh, collaterals or nettings that have been uh, added as a part of this uh, agreement even all those things to be uh, taken while computing the price of this counterparty risk so that is what uh, is the mechanism we 